everyone so I got a question on one of my art of the root oil review videos about how to set intention and how to state intention while using the hoodoo and conjure oils so that they are more effective um, so the thing is that if an oil isn't working for you immediately from my experience I've had two oils work immediately without me having to do much without me having to do a ritual without me having to use tools like candles or incense um, but there were a couple of other oils that didn't work so well for me uh, for example the money drawing oil didn't I didn't I was using it and I really wasn't seeing any results um, someone suggested that hey you should try setting your intentions while you anoint yourself with oil while you use oil and once I did that I immediately saw results so people were like okay so what is this whole stating your intention thing <laughs> what is this whole setting your intention thing explain it to me okay so let's get into that you speak your reality into existence now if you can remember this phrase this idea this concept then you will always be at least halfway there with correctly setting your intentions and stating your intentions while practicing magic or observing any other type of occult practice now stating your intentions and setting your intentions is a way to manifest what you want into your own life and into your own reality so it is very 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 similar to writing powerful petitions and i made a video about that so you can check that out in the link below in the description or you can find that here or here and let me know what you think about the video okay it's very similar to writing what you want into existence but stating intentions doesn't require you to write what you want to manifest or with a pen and a piece of paper okay so remember that and you will be one step closer now it's really important to understand and to remember that practicing magic and observing the occult is really a psychological process now if you haven't heard of parapsychology you should look it up but parapsychology incorporates the occult magic witchcraft astrology divination all of these things that we talk about in the witchy world <laughs> that is included into parapsychology okay so when you think of setting your intention when you think of stating your intention verbally or even writing petitions out um, which is setting your intentions but um, doing it on a pen and paper and actually writing it instead of actually having it having to come out of your mouth right <laughs> it's always remember these ways these tactics of setting your intention and stating your intention or even writing petitions as a way to program your subconscious mind right it's a way to mold and to and to really shape your psychology so that you can succeed or you can manifest what you want into your life it's a way to focus your mind right so never forget this and look up parapsychology um you find that helpful with any thing related to magic or the occult okay okay so you're probably thinking all right so setting your intention or setting your intention is easy as just saying I have a million dollars or is it just as easy as stating simply what you want to manifest um, the answer is yes and no now when I say no I mean that there are some things that you can do to make sure setting your intention and stating your intention is actually effective and powerful so here are some tips on how to set and state your intention so that it is actually effective in that it actually works number one make sure that you have a positive and relaxed energy about you when you set your intentions when you state your intentions okay make sure that you are relaxed make sure you are in a positive state of mind okay because you have to remember this is the energy you you are going to be emitting out into the universe this is the energy that you're going to be putting out to the universe so this is the energy that you will be attracting right so make sure your energy is positive make sure you are vibrating high make sure you feel good make sure you feel good about yourself and what you are trying to manifest okay also another thing that is very important and if you keep this in mind it will make your process of setting intentions and stating intentions a lot more powerful and that is you must not harbor any doubt you must be sure you must be certain um, now a great way that I make sure that I have um, 
a certain energy and then I'm using language that shows that I am certain that I will manifest what I am manifesting is I will use language that shows gratitude. So I will say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you universe for the growth of my business or thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you universe for my thriving and positive and loving relationships that I have with my family members, okay? And when I do that and I'm having just like a great positive energy about me and I'm having a grateful aura and I'm having, you know, high vibrations around me, then this is what I will attract after I put this out to the universe. Now, if you have any doubt, it will not work. And if you are impatient and obsessive about it, it will not work. So be sure when you are stating and setting your intentions, verbally, be sure when you are writing your petitions, petitions, when you're writing your petitions out on your pen, in, I mean, on your piece of paper using your pen, right? Make sure you are sure you have a certain energy there is no doubt make sure you are certain because if you have any doubt it will not work another thing that you can do to strengthen the process of stating or setting your attention is to use candle magic along with it you can use hoodoo oils like i do uh, you can use rituals and spells uh, with various tools and objects you have around the house or that you can get uh, various herbs uh, oils um, I this is my little corner here that I will meditate and do my work and I have sage here I will, I will use sage I'll cleanse myself I have a bunch of candles candles here um, if I want to do a particular spell I have let's see like certain herbs I have time here so if you want to make setting your intentions more powerful, you can use tools, right? Because all of this, all of these tools are way, are, are used to, are used as symbols and to symbolize what you want to manifest and what you are trying to manifest into your life, okay? And I have a bunch of hoodoo oils as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you to my lovely subscribers for uh, requesting that I make this video. It's, it's super important. It's super important that we understand that at the end of the day, magic is a psychological process. Um, it's a way to manifest what you want into your life. It's a way to be a creator and it's a way to use your mind to do that instead of begging someone else, okay? It's the, instead of begging um, other entities, you can depend on yourself to bring about what you want in your own life, okay? So I hope this was helpful and please let me know if you have any questions. Check out my playlist below. Um, I have a playlist where I review all of the other magic tools and hoodoo oils and all that jazz um, that I've used and I also have a playlist about just magic and the occult in general, just exploring magic and the occult. So if that's interesting to you, make sure you check that out, okay? And um, I'll make sure to feature the products that I referenced in this video, um, the hoodoo oils that I talked about and the hoodoo oils that inspired this conversation and inspired some of my viewers and subscribers to ask me the question about how to set intentions, okay? All right, so see you lovely people later. Bye.